This is all our work. Uh, we are developing the work. I'm currently living and working for the living in Portugal and working for the Institute Telecommunications, Telecommunications Institute. And I am going to present a work we are developing there in a collaboration with all these people. Um, uh, in this work, we use the serial functional connections. The serial functional connections is a mathematical framework um, used to do linear functional interpolation. And this, this function contains a free function and a solution obtained using this functional will always satisfy a set of given uh, linear constraints. I will explain, I will try to explain in an application of this theory to the to ordinary to obtain solutions of ordinary differential equations. Here, uh, the large blue circle represents the all the possible solutions of a given ordinary differential equation. But suppose that this differential equation is subjected to a set of linear constraints. Thus, uh, in the smaller white circle, it represents the solutions that satisfy both the constraints and the differential equations. And the zero functional connections is able to embed the constraints into the A equations. Thus, uh, the result of that is that we look for solution in this subspace. All the possible solutions using the zero functional connections we will always satisfy the constraints. Thus, in this work, we propose to use this method, the constraints. So the, the novel of, this, of our proposal is that the constraint is given by the observational data and the differential equations are the equations we describe the dynamics of a satellite. And we propose to apply the TFC method to embed the observational data into the equations and to solve this other derived equation. Uh, the advantage that is that all the possible solution will always satisfy uh, the observational data. And also we, we are showing another method. We suggest the application of another method in the paper. Uh, it is the uh, another met algorithm. It was the another met algorithm was done about 50 years ago and it's it's it has been forgotten and it's using uh, some people is using it now but not for this application and we propose to apply this another net algorithm with a machine learning procedure to obtain to apply this to obtain the uh, some properties of the motion. So, in the application of this, uh, the, we propose the development of a code. Um, and this code, the purpose of this code is to obtain information of a satellite from observational data. Using, uh, it's, it's done using the both proposed methods, the zero functional connections combined with the nonlinear least square method and the neither method with machine learning procedures. There, this, uh, here we have how um, a code or a software uses for art propagation works uh, at this representation. This, uh, uh, a code that you propose use observational data, it's feeded with observational data. It is based in mathematical models and it used optimization procedures to generate or to improve the models. So it basically improved the models uh, to obtain uh, new models that better describe the dynamics of the satellite. In our application, in this college, we use 
the observational data given by the position, the velocity, and also the light curve. We use the models given by the rotational, the rotational dynamics. And we propose, the novel of this work is that we propose two new procedures given by the zero functional connections, it's the nonlinear least square method, new dermatics machine learning to, to, uh, to improve the model, to find the one that better describes the dynamics of a specific satellite, which one, the one given by, in which the observational data is collected. Thus, in, we presented in the paper uh, a first result for the mathematical model. We use this model, where this term is given by the potential of the Earth up to the degree and order 10. Um, and we obtained, for this, we obtained data from simulation. Uh, this is not a real case. This is not uh, yet, uh, we didn't obtain, we didn't use observational data. We used uh, simulated observational data. For we used the position and velocity at two different times. And we gave it to the code and the code was able to obtain the parameter alpha. We, we gave to the code uh, initial guess, uh, wrong value to the alpha. And the code was able to improve and to determine the parameter alpha given this data using this procedure. Thus, uh, here we have some results uh, for the order. Here we the real value of the parameter used for the simulation, and the obtained one. And well, uh, this, uh, this research contributes to the space environment by improving the available technique for the risk characterization. We plan to use this uh, to, we have plans to, to use this to, uh, to use the light curve and the position of uh, space debris obtain it with this telescope. We have some te technical data of the, this telescope here. It's located in uh, Pampilhosa da Serra in Portugal. And we want to, to, to find information properties and uh, to find dynamical properties and also physical properties of space debris using this method and this observatory. Thus, I was improving information leads to a better use of space. And this, this are, this, those are our supporters. And I, I have, I offer this time the last five minutes to questions.